today i went to a childhood friend's wedding it got me feeling things i haven't felt in a good long while so i decided in honor of troy's wedding congratulations troy and megan by the way i know you're not watching this because you're probably on the plane to kenya for your honeymoon but in honor of them i am doing a romance night and i'm gonna watch one of my favorite romances that i don't think gets enough credit because i actually liked it a lot it gave me fun of feeling just like that wedding did we're watching Anonatsu de Maturu. um i don't think I linked it because I'm stupid, but I will link it right now. How about that, guys? <laughs> While I'm linking this, why don't you guys tell me how your uh, your week's been going since we're now live? 
<laughs> oh, my screen's so far away. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. I'll just copy pasta this. Sweet. All right. The uh, link is in the chat. And we're watching it on 9 Anime, which I don't have a keyboard, so I'm just going to leave it saying Netflix. <laughs> uh, my, my thing's over there. I, I forgot to plug in my keyboard because I'm stupid, and this wouldn't be a Chad Zimmerman live stream without me not doing well on the electronics. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this just so while people are loading up. Uh, I am eating popcorn because I've eaten all day. I spent, we had to drive way into the mountains today to go to the wedding, way all the way back to come home. And I didn't get to eat very much, so I'm going to do some kettle corn and some water, because I'm still, part of this year's goals was get swole, and I am continuing that journey. I'm going to catch up on chat real quick. Everyone get loaded up on your Anonatsude Matteru. Matteru? Yeah, it's not Matteiru, they dropped the E because they're freaking funny. Uh, everyone just saying hi. Gary Hirsch, what's cracking? Garthic, good to see you. Ba uh, CJ Bynes, the, the man, the myth, the legend. Are you going on Discord? Um, I'll be on Discord briefly after. Um, I obviously, I, I left my house like eight 30 today and I got home at like seven and you guys know me, I study like four hours a day. So that means even after this stream and let's say I spend like 10 minutes on discord, I'm going to be up till probably one 2 AM studying. So I want to spend as little time up in the AMs as possible. So I'm going to, I'll probably hop off discord early, but good point. If you are not a part of the discord, you can join down below. There's a discord channel where we all hang out together, especially afterwards. They have an after party. We talk. Um, it's a lot of fun. You'll be able to talk to me one-on-one -on -one if that's your type of shtick. So get on the discord chat. I do keep up with YouTube chats. I keep up with the tweets and the snaps. Um, and I try to keep up with the discords during the actual, uh, a stream. I do, I do my best to get all of them all in one. I do all of it on my phone because I don't have access to anything else. Also, if you guys haven't checked it out already, uh, we got a new reward coming to the Patreon. It's open to anybody who donates on the Patreon. Uh, we are going to be putting out a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, me and a bunch of my friends that are also goofy and weird like I am. Uh, it's called the Wicked Miscreant Podcast. Everything's just about done. We, f we film our first legit day, uh, tomorrow. So oh gosh, it's coming quick already on Sunday. And uh, we'll put it up on Patreon first for a week. You guys will be a week ahead of everybody else. And then you guys will get it on a separate channel, not on my channel, um, once a week. And it's basically an hour-long podcast of me and my friends being goofy playing D&D. So be, be checking that out and be on the Patreons if you guys want to get it early. All right, I'm going to start the anime while we're waiting. All right, I don't have a timer because, again, my uh, for all you PC master races, PC sucks. So I'm doing everything on my Mac, and I can, I can only do so much. Um... We're gonna do everything on this, so just click it with me if y'all if y'all are ready. We're gonna go in about a three-ish, about a two-ish, and about a one. Go. Ooh, I got an ad. No. There we are. I'm excited. I love this anime. I haven't seen this anime in forever, and it's it's just a big part of my life. I'm actually gonna put both ears on. <laughs> I also really like the art style. This was kind of when, um, if you guys remember, fudge, what was that? It's the, the mer people that weren't, pe like, they didn't look like mermaids. They just lived in the water. Asu something. I forgot what it was called. Darn it. I actually like that anime too. Th they kind of have similar art styles. It's this kind of new age, very chibi, very rounded edges, bright colors. It's awesome. I love it. Gary Hirsch, are you still in Japan? Next month, I'm visiting Tokyo my first time. Gary, congrats. Uh, I'm so stoked to see how you like it. Please, please, and I mean this sincerely, tell me how much you liked it. I don't like Tokyo, if that's not abundant to everybody, but um, it's still Japan. It's still your first time. I'm very proud of you. Great job. Uh, great job, Ethan. Great moves. <laughs> and um, Just tell me how it goes. I I'm super excited. Uh, I'm not in Japan this second. I'm back in America. I don't get back in Japan until September 20, well, I leave September 20th, I'll arrive September 23rd, because time. <laughs> so, uh, it, I'll be back soon, and I don't know, maybe you'll be there. Doubtful, but it'd be nice. Isabel's in the house, finally, Isabel, jeez, that took you freaking long enough. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. OG Fireball, can't wait. I love this anime. It's weird, I think this anime is... What is it? 12 episodes? And really, the feel-feels don't come until the last episode. This is this is a feely anime, but it's not until the last episode. Throughout this whole thing, it's just kind of summer 
anime type feely, you know. Oh, I remember this intro. This has been a while. Kettle corn. Oh, I figured I'd warn the people now. While I'm chewing, um, there's this trend of like getting me to do funny stuff on stream, which I don't mind. I like you know making people laugh. I'm basically a glorified clown, anyways. Um, I won't be doing a lot of them because I know a lot of them's like, "Hey, lick your foot or put your leg behind your head or something weird." My pants. I I'm so I don't know if broke's the right term. YouTube pays once a month, and I'm in between pay periods, and I have one pair of pants, and they have, like, five rips only in the crotch, and this giant knee rip. So if I stretch my legs any more than they already are, you guys might be getting a lot more than you accounted for. I might get my channel taken down. Um, so just, I, I can't do a lot of that this stream, but I still want to watch this with you guys if you're willing to watch it with me, so. Oop, if I can just get my phone to turn. Chad, you won't believe what I learned what to do today. I learned to be breath. Loli, how did you learn to be breath? It's not learned how to breathe. It's I learned to be breath. Be the breath. I don't think that's, I don't think that's actually what she meant, but maybe it is. I don't know. Did you like take a yoga class and they said, if you're not one with your breath, you will get pregnant and die or whatever they say in yoga classes. I'm not dogging on yoga. I do yoga. So... Mm. You know what I forgot? This is actually a pretty easy understand anime. Thank goodness. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is way easier to understand. For me, I know everyone's different, but I actually really like this one. Breath. I learned to be breath. Barely read my message. Barely wrote it too clearly. Shin, don't be mean. CJ, what's up? Mmm. Delicious kennel corn. I got a whole bowl here. Or... Not kennel corn. Kettle corn? Kettle corn. I don't claim to be... I don't claim to English well. I don't claim to do anything well. <laughs> Ow. Like cooked popcorn, right? Ow. That was a... That's not even a shell. It's just crystallized sugar in like a rock. I can't eat that. Mmm. That's a shell. Really whimsical soundtrack to this. Mm. This is full of seeds or kernels or whatever i'm gonna damage my tooth my toothfishers hmm he translated natsudashi as since it's summer i mean i suppose so so natsuda it's summer she she being a reason for a later statement so yeah that's fine it's summer so that these things were that yeah i mean that's fine I, I shouldn't be such a stickler obviously these are like native japanese people i don't know why i would ever criticize them but in my head i'm like how am i processing this whenever i criticize something like this it's actually me criticizing what i've learned because these are these are native people right the, these people are speaking a, presumably in a way that is understandable right i was not given that luxury. So I might be, I might have learned something wrong. It happens, you know, not perfect. So I always go, wait, why was that translated that way? So, mm. I got your question is one sec. Mm. Is it cool if I call you is? I'm fine with Isabella just long, and I think is is cool. 
Chad, random question. Do you ever plan on getting a pet? A cat, a dog, dragon? I mean, winter is coming, but I don't think a dragon's in the cards for me. Um, I really want a... If you guys haven't seen these, look up... There's two types of dogs I want. I want either a dog that is like an emotional support pet, and if that's the case, I want a, a purple bear coat Sharpe. Look up purple bear coat Sharpe, and you'll you'll be like, I love it so much. Um, but they're so hard to find breeders. Australia has breeders, but I don't want to fly to Australia to get a dog. The other thing I want is a, a dog that helps get me out of the house to help me like manage my depression. Like that will make me that will force me to be active. So I think I want to get like a pointer dog, like a like what a normal like what would be a hunter dog, right? Like something that you have to train and you ha it, if you don't take it outside on long walks, if you don't take it running when you go fishing and that type of stuff, it goes crazy. So it kind of forces you to go out of your house, which is what I think I want. But, and if that's the case, <coughs> there's a lot of, man, there's a lot of really great pointer dogs. I I've had a black lab and she was the best dog ever. And I don't want another one of her. Because there's only one of her. There's only one Tance. So, I think maybe a Brittany? I've been looking into Brittany's a lot, and they look pretty smart, and they look like they have a ton of energy, which is what I need. Hmm. Izzy? Alright, I'll call you Izzy as well. Or is, whatever I decide to do. Hmm. That reminds me, I haven't checked the rest of my chats. Give me, give me one sec. While I talk with my mouth full. So, e u ko ko ro a. Right, we're good on Discord. I'm caught up. What about the tweets? Oh, did you guys hear, um... Don't cough, Chad. Apparently, this is amateur hour over here at the Chad Zimmerman suffocation live stream. <coughs> um, I don't know if you guys heard this. My Someone tweeted this to me today. Will Smith got confirmed for the Disney Aladdin movie as the genie. I'm all for it. I wasn't for the movie before that. Uh, I'm all for it now. The only way that would make it better if it was actually Robin Williams. May his soul rest in pasta. I have never seen a girl skirt that short in Japan, ever. Well, I, I should say schoolgirl uniform that short. I, I mean, I see skirts so... Ah, speak English. I see girls whose shorts are so short, um, it would make you question everything you know about reality and gravity. But I've never seen... I mean, all of them are so long, like mid-chin, like right, right in this area, which is why it's very not flattering. A husky will do that. A husky will definitely do that, and I love huskies, but I can't teach a husky to hunt or to be patient when I fish, I don't think. And I fish a lot, and this is my first year hunting. It's one of those things I, I want to try this year. It, for the for new people that don't know about me, I'm doing all sorts of crazy stuff this year that isn't normally what I would do. Like, I did rugby, learning stand-up comedy, learning to fly... Hunting is one of them. Passing my N2 is one of them. Getting accepted to grad school is one of them. That type of stuff. Um, and I need something I can do to train that. So I, I don't think a Husky's in the ballpark yet. But when I get my own land, when you guys finally start paying for me to dominate the world and I get a million subscribers, I will buy a hundred acres and put a house on it and then I will have my Husky. And then I'll probably quit YouTube to hang out with my Husky. But for now, I'm on YouTube. Chad, what time are you on? What time are you on the anime? Oh, good idea. So right here. Right now, I'm at 11.33. Right now, I'm at 11.37. Um, get roughly within there. You're not going to miss any, you know, being a second or two late, you're not going to miss it. Again, I would, I, you guys know this. I usually have a timer, but because PCs are garbage and no one should ever own one, 
Uh, I have to do everything on my Mac until I can afford another screen. So, I can't have a timer and have anime up on the same computer I found out because OBS is terrible. Well, that's not true. OBS is fine. I think there are timer... They're not extensions. Apps? Timer's something that you can put into OBS, but I haven't found a way to do that, and I'm already really bad at electronics. I'm the talent. Like, I will do really well in front of the camera. I will do really well if you say, Chad, just read off this script. Um, if you say, hey, Chad, can you operate the camera too? It's not really that good. I do, my, I do the best I can, though. More raps. <laughs> well, that's true. They don't give a F. She used to bring me rabbits, though. Hey, the rabbit thing's kind of cool. I mean, I know tons of... There's lots of people who train dogs, um, not necessarily to get animals, but to bring... What are they? Sheds? To bring, like, deer and elk sheds. So the deer and elk naturally shed their antlers. I was going to say horns for some reason. Um, their antlers. And you can train a dog to, like, run into the wild... And come back with one. It's crazy. It's like magic. I've never seen anything like it. And I want a dog. I would, if I had a dog, I would totally train it to do that. I also want to train a, a dog to fetch an animal that I happen to have um, harvested, I, I think is what they say the correct term is. According to my hunter safety class I took, it's you harvest an animal, you don't kill it. How about a border collie? I have one and she's perfect for what I want. Kind, athletic, but obedient. Border collie, huh? I'm going to Google Border Collies real quick. Let's see what's going down with this. Border Collie. You think I would know... Hold on. Bo what the heck does a Border Collie look like? I swear I've seen one. Border Collie. Oh, it's so cute! I love it already. Is... Um... How, uh, how hard are they to train? Are they really stubborn or are they kind of... You know, they kind of get the drift. Oh, I saw... Okay, this type of dog. So, Border Collie. Yesterday, there was a dude when I was walking back from the gym. and Or, sorry, I was riding my... What's that tiny... My penny board back from the gym. <coughs> minus me coughing. And I saw this dude, and he had this long orange leash and this type of dog. It must have been a Border Collie or some mix of a Border Collie. And that dog was just sitting like this. Like, just completely, like... And then he was just... He wasn't really... He wasn't, like, scouring, but he was just kind of sitting just like this. And there's a rabbit 10 feet from him, and the dude's... All the girls are like, hey, watch your dog. There's these girls walking by. And he was just like, calm down, and dropped his rope. And the dog didn't move an inch. It's completely trained to not go after the animal until he says whatever the secret word is. I'm going to say bananas. Until he says bananas. Oh, she's fishing, uh, tink... Well, in America we call it tinkara, uh, myaksuri. I would love to learn to do that effectively. When I go back to Japan, I'm doing a ton of fishing. And I'm going to do some fishing videos for you guys, too. So, be, be, be on the, the, the liberty liberty lookout for that. Mm. Oh, she did that, too, but often brought back weird deer parts left over from coyotes. I mean, if you're into biology, that might not be the worst thing. I just think a husky's too close to a wolf. And I don't think I have the patience to train a wolf. That's why I'm like, maybe an emotional support animal would be good. An animal that doesn't require a lot. But then I'm like, you know, it's good for me to not just sit inside and hug my dog all day. Maybe it's good for me to take that dog out and go fishing, go hiking, go rock climbing, go do stuff with the dog. Not the dog can rock climb unless it's dope. Um, and, you know, if I had a, a purple, was it bear coat Sharpe? That's They don't really do that, so... I don't really know. I don't know what I want. I'm not doing it till after I pass the JLPT, though. I promise myself. I'm not getting into any big life commitments like dogs or buying a house or committing to, you know, one country or the other until after I have that because then I have more job options than I do currently. And I could feel a bit better about getting a li – because YouTube right now is my job, but to have something that's steady – and consistent that I would be able to provide for a living thing, that's kind of important for me. So, we'll see. Maybe. Mm. 
for the first year, they're pretty restless. But after that, they can be pretty chill, if taught. They're the type of sheepdog, so they naturally go after animals. Breeze in the bil- the, the bazilding. I, I feel like I'm going to get sued by Snoop now. Um, yeah, see, it's, so right at this second in my life, right, I don't know if I have the energy to train a dog. Because I'm studying so much, I'm working so much, I'm doing, even like, so you guys see, what, like a, an hour long stream a week, and you see a 10-ish minute video a week, right? You don't see the three hours it takes to write the script, you don't see the 30 minutes, it, or an hour it takes to set up and set down, uh, of all my lights and microphones and um, everything that's important to the set, and making sure the cameras are focused and making sure everything's plugged in right and doing sound checks. You guys don't see the various takes I do. I don't just talk into a camera. I do. I have a script. It goes take by take by take, and I do several of every line to find the ones I like. <coughs> you also don't see the crippling depression it is when I plug it into my camera or when I plug it into my Mac, my SD card, and it's either all gone or wiped or maybe I don't like a certain type of lighting or maybe the sun moves slightly away from the window in a way that makes me frustrated so i have to reshoot and then the lighting's off and then my white balance sucks and then i just hide in my bed until i have to post a bit anyway i'm getting too existential here and you you don't see the my you don't see the four hours i spend editing ish 20 minutes of encoding and then uploading you don't see all the research i do on the youtube algorithm to keep up to date with what trends you don't see all the the time i put into my tags all the time i put in to titles, to checking out competition, seeing what's working for them and trying to see if I can get some of that metadata to work for me. I'm reading books on YouTube trying to figure out how to make more people find me and and so I can help more people. Like I spend way more than 40 hours a week doing this, let alone doing the stream which takes up probably four hours of my time total or this new podcast that's coming out that's going to be an extra uh, probably two to three hours a week. Um, I, I put a lot of time into this and I care a lot about it. And if that's the case, I can't, I don't think, take care of a dog. Or I can't not take care of a dog. I can't train a dog that is super hard to train. It would have to be either already trained or I would have to be done with studying. Because then I throw studying on top of all that. I study 20 to 30 hours a week. Um, you know, it. it I, I'd feel bad for the dog. So I don't know. Maybe. I I read a graphic novel. It's called Beautiful Darkness. It's about this girl who died in a forest and these tiny people that are emotions or thoughts. It's not really clear what they are, but they live. What they are by they live. So I assume but. Lived inside the girl. They become physical life, then try to survive. But since all of them are lazy or just don't care, they all die slowly. It's a beautiful anti-fairy tale. That's kind of weird. How about a rescue dog? It would support a good cause, and with a lot of dogs are already trained, but I just want you to be happy, even if you have to wait a year or two. And I'm all about adoption. I, I highly suggest it. It's just, again, a lot of those dogs come with baggage, and it's a matter of, can I handle that bag? It's kind of like people. You know when you're, like, thinking about getting into relationships, so you have to have, like, the talk about, like, how many people did you sleep with that weren't me or whatever? And then how many, uh, you know, what's what's your past like? How are you damaged? And then you talk about how you're damaged. And then you both kind of go, can we deal with these damages? Or, hey, that's just too much for one of us. We just, let's stop this before it turns into anything. That's this. So I don't know. I, I, I'd really have to fall in love with a dog at a shelter to be like, yeah. And my therapist told me, like, yeah, you should you should totally get a support animal, but like, I'm barely keeping these these succulent plants I have alive. What? Uh, how about a fluffy cat? Oh no, dude, I can't do cats. Cats piss me off too much. Oh, here comes weird fluffy alien animal thing. I have two. And they are best friends and pretty low maintenance. I would have I would have a dog again, but I live in a condo. I want a dogger to have a nice yard to run in. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not a cat person. Like I, I wish I was, but cats bo- cats bug me. I've never like owned a cat that I was like, hell yeah, this is my buddy. 
they kind of are just so independent that like it's not what I'm looking for in an animal. <laughs> Which I know is a double standard because it's like I need an animal that isn't super high maintenance, but I also want an animal that like loves me and cares about me and won't eat me if I die, like that like that type of thing. And a cat won't provide that. Oh. Weird. Uh, this is, yeah. I mean, it is an anime, so it has to kind of, like, be sort of, not fan service but it's got to find someone in a compromising position. Weird. I have a Essa dog, emotional support animal. Yeah, that's basically, that's probably what I need. Well, I don't know if I need, I mean, I'm alive now. I don't, I don't think I need one. I think it would just help a lot. Frankly, just having an emotional support, like, like, person <laughs> probably wouldn't be the worst idea. Forensic class almost died of brain failure. Brianna, is that, like, forensics in debate, or is that, like, forensics, like, crime forensics? I believe pets are people. You make a lot of good points. Um, I don't think they're people, but I, I think they're nice. I definitely think they're nice to have. Yeah, this anime's over. Sorry, one sec. I got freaking another weird pop-up ad. Yeah, I like this outro music. You guys know me. I do the outro music, too, just because I dig it. Um, it's better to have a small dog like a toy poodle or chihuahua. They're really great for apartments. Um, we have two small dogs. My family, I should say, has two small dogs. We have Bella, who's a silky terrier, and Marley, who is a half-silky, half-chihuahua. That's a long story. But my cat does all that. Yeah. My cats have imprinted on me, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. I've just never... Again, this is just me. Oh, the second episode's just now starting, by the way. Um, Nine anime is really nice. It goes right into the second episode. It's kind of like Netflix, but without that weird, like, stop screen. I'm gonna kick my legs out. I got... Oh, I sat in a car all day. It's, it's not the worst idea to... Kick, kick the old leg out. Eat some popcorn and... Oh, she's in a weird sparkly bra. Okay. I forgot this show has a little bit of fan service. Just, just a little bit. See, the real problem is now I'm going to have to finish this, and I don't have that kind of time to devote to an anime I've already seen. <laughs> Not that there's like a ton right now that I haven't seen that I really want to watch, but, you know. There's only so much time time of the day, guys. She wakes me for work, meets me at the door at the end of the day, come gets me at bedtime, and cuddles with me lots. Garthic, you have the most dog cat I have ever seen. I found out that if a owner dies and their pet dog is around, that sometimes a dog eats the owner and later, when the does goes to the potty, they find piece of the owner in the feces. <coughs> I know for a fact a cat will eat the owner. I, I haven't heard of dogs doing that. Maybe if the dog was, like, locked inside and starving. But the cat... The cat's not even starving. It just it just wants to eat you. <laughs> it just doesn't see you as an equal. That's the sad thing. The graphic novel does sound weird, but trust me, you will like it. It has an epic plot twist at the end. The ending of the story ends like most Edgar Allan Poe stories. Oh, I actually, so I, I've read a lot of Edgar Allan Poe, so that, I might like that. Forensic says in criminology, Bree, do you have a criminology class in high school? That's kind of dope. Sorry, this chat bar has a limit on characters. No, it's fine. I don't mind. I'll try and piece everything together the best I can. I, I don't, I'm not in love with the intro they picked for this. I don't think it, it I don't think it expresses the feeling of the anime very well. It probably should be something a bit more... I don't know about upbeat. Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> hmm. Weird booby monster thing. My cat is the best dog ever. I told you. That's a, a dog does that. A cat doesn't do that. You have the best... Your cats are the best dogs. That's the thing. Mm. Kind 
Can I just say, my head, from how much I've studied this week of Japanese, my head is so... You guys ever feel maxed out on learning? That's how my brains felt this last week. Uh. Nankane. That's fair enough. Mm. And she's out again. Bowl. I learned I could do like a little bit of a. I can get my voice slow enough to do like a Patrick this week. <coughs> what was it? He. It was when he hit himself. It was um. Where's the leak, ma'am? Where's the leak, ma'am? Something like that. Patrick Star. Mm. Oh, cool. Congrats to graduating high school, Bree. Yeah, weird booby monster in the second episode. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually, if you guys watch the intro to the show after the second episode, it's in it. My ESA dog, she looks like a cat, so I was going to name her Puppy Cat, but I ended up just naming her Okashi? Candy? Sweets? Okashi? I mean, it depends on your kanji usage, I guess. Eh. Uh. Weird. Mmm. She translated the word, um, what was it? Not to take care of. Like, to watch, to watch over for, to help, kind of like what a nurse does in a hospital. And they translated it as to, uh, I was nursing him, as in, when I hear nursing, I think of, like, 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 child and teat nursing. Um, my, f I feel like the person that did the English subs on this is actually a native Japanese speaker. Or at least not a non-native English speaker. But what do I know? It's, I'm probably wrong. I wouldn't have used nursing. I was, oh, I was just helping him. I was taking care of him. But nursing him isn't a wrong translation. I just get a different image when I think of that. Hmm. The YouTube chat isn't so cancerous this week. Um, I'm starting to think... I mean, so much of the cancer comes from, like, two or three dudes. And two of them said they couldn't make it on the Discord chat this week. And I, don't get me wrong, I love James and all those guys, but... One of them's in Japan, one of them's going to watch a movie with his brother. <coughs> um... Yeah, so I think it's a lot less cancerous because there's a lot less people that like spreading cancer in the chat. <laughs> She's pretty fast learner, so now she lives. So now she lives now with me, and once a week the trainer comes with her. Oh, that's cool. I'm going back to college to get my next degree in cybersecurity and information assurance with a side order of Japanese language. Do it, Garthic. Do it. Um, I actually got accepted to a graduate program without ever getting a bachelor's degree. I, get, I was a valuable enough asset to the school because they need someone to translate to Japanese these really difficult theological texts, and I want to translate the Bible, frankly, myself. Um, and they don't really have that because how many Christians with deep theological training who also speak Japanese are there? None, really. Not that many. So, uh, you know, they were like, hey, yeah, yeah you know, Come take classes with us, get your degree, and then go translate. And I was like, sure. We'll do that. <laughs> Man, everyone's coming to new... Uh, everyone's doing new cool things. Bree's graduating. Garth's going back to school. I start school soon. I go back to Japan soon. Whoever that guy that was here earlier is going to Japan in like a week for his first time. This is a very progressive chat you guys are hitting your goals you guys are setting goals and exceeding them you are living life and not just watching anime like i'm doing right now which i'm so proud of you guys 
Her name is Candy. Okay. I was going to name her Dulce. <laughs> Candy in Spanish, but I have a niece with that name, so I didn't want to change the language. So, fun fact, <coughs> I, I put, I fly fish. And I made a fly rod from scratch about all the individual pieces, the best I could afford, and put them together. It's a great rod. And I call it, uh, was it, I named it, one of my rugby players, one of the guys on my rugby team, he has this big, fat, manly looking dog named uh, El Duce, which is Italian for the sweetness. So I call mine El Duce or the Duce for short. So whenever I have a fish on, I look over, my dad's probably downstream or someone, and I go, the Duce! <laughs> I'm just reeling this fish in on the Duce. Uh, it's probably funny to me because I like fishing, but that's okay. I'll, I'll be the only person that likes to fish. That's fine with me. Hmm. Hmm. That's awesome. I agree. That is awesome. I don't know what's awesome, because you didn't put a reference, but that's fine. I imagine either anything I said or anything that was said in chat is awesome. I need more water. Agua. I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, I don't think there's a way to send pictures in chat, is there? Um, I could tweet it. So, part of my thing I was doing this year, one of the many goals I had was to... Uh, I was going to gain 10 pounds of muscle, and I hit that like <coughs> like uh, four or five months in. And I was like, let's just keep getting healthy so my diet's getting healthier every day. I'm, I'm now doing a, a like really high-protein diet, low in fat, except for I, I'm keeping my healthy fats pretty high. Um, cutting bad carbs, putting in like really good carbs, so I'm doing like a lot of these really good nut and fruit um, shakes and stuff. I go to the gym like five days a week and the two days I'm not like lifting, I'm actually running on the treadmills and stuff. Um, so I'm getting in really good shape. It's weird. I've actually, if you look at pictures of me, I actually look like I've lost weight. I'm 12 and a half pounds heavier. I look like thinner. I have less body fat. So I have body calipers and, and tape measures and stuff to like go over all my, all my body parts and I calculate my body fat percentage. I've lost like 6% body fat, but I, I weigh more. Which means that has to be a lean protein gain or a or my bones are getting thicker or something. Maybe my head's getting larger from all this knowledge in it. I don't know. And uh, I just feel so much better. Um, and having feeling this much better physically, I guarantee you has helped me mentally like keep stuff together. A long time problem with me is just keeping... My mom says I'm too smart, but like I just keep... I, I have too much going on up here and I get very sad very fast so having something that gets me out and you know works my endorphins and then i can eat really well and i can eat all the time i eat like five to six meals a day and a lot like I eat like 2500 to 3000 calories and i just feel better and i have more energy so it's it's nice <laughs> i recommend it if you guys don't if you have emotion problems and you don't have a high protein diet and you don't have um, a workout regimen. Not that you have to be in the gym seven days a week like I am. I started going like two or three times a week for like 20 minutes. And that just evolved to me wanting to go more because I just felt better after I did it. So I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't done that, I, I highly suggest it. Frankly, I recommend you have goals in like a lot of different areas. So I have like language goals, so Japanese. I have school go school goals, how far I want to go in school and, and stuff, how far I want to go in studying. I have physical goals. I have the way that I want to dress. Do I look like the way I want to dress? I have goals in that. Right now I don't, but I also don't have the money to do it, so oh well. Um, you know, I have I have goals with YouTube. I have goals with me wanting to start all these new projects like this new podcast. I have travel goals. I have all sorts of stuff. So, um, I recommend you guys have many, many goals. And one of them, frankly, should be taking care of your number one. Oh, gosh. Why is there such fan service boob stuff? I can't watch this right now. Um, having, like, is my body the way I want it? Am I feeling healthy? Even if it's not an appearance thing. Do I feel good? Do I feel healthy? Do, do I feel like how I want to feel? And if not, maybe I should put a goal towards changing that. So, Chad's suggestion for the night. Get healthy. 
Everyone is achieving goals while I'm here watching a guy eat popcorn. Hey, I am the guy eating popcorn. If you're not achieving stuff, something's... What does that make me? Mmm. Mmm. Is it sometimes mistaken for the douche? Yeah, my dad calls it that all the time. I applied for the um, YFU Japanese Summer High School program. I hope I get accepted. It's a six-week-long trip, and I can stay with the host family and attend a local high school. Oh, that's cool. Um, you should totally let me know if you get into that. T uh, tweet that to me. Or, I mean, you can comment, too, but like if you tweet it to me, you'll get like a really quick response. So do do that. Is it a scholarship or do you have to pay, Isabel? Uh, how tall are you? Lotus, do you mean me? I'm six foot two inches or what is that? 187, 189 centimeters, something like that. I'm tall. There are scholarships available, but they are hard to get. Yeah, man, a lot of those trips are like you got to pay for it, which is why usually only rich kids go on them. A lot of scholarship talk. Hold on. Nicholas Cotto, I have waifu goals. Dude, that's another goal you should have is a, is a waifu goal, always. But Isabel is staying up for the live stream because she's a thug, and I appreciate her so much. I want to take a college semester in Japan for language and or psychology. Uh, I mean... Do it. I don't really have it. I have a lot of experience going and talking to high, uh, college students in Japan, like being a speaker in class. I know a lot of college students, but I never went to a Japanese college, so I can't really, like, tell you. <coughs> but best of luck. I agree. Aside from school, I have a fitness goal, a language goal, a few others. Garthic, you are freaking right on. You and me are going to be buff, anime-watching, Japanese-speaking, hot girlfriend-having, hopefully, eventually... When we find girls that that are the same way. Buff, anime watching, popcorn eating, Chad Zimmerman loving females. You guys should bag her. Bag her right up. If she likes my channel, that's one in 8,000. There's only 8,000 of you people that even really know I exist. That's not a lot. You guys are a very special community. So if you find someone that's like, wait, you like Chad Zimmerman too? Let's both give him $400 and then we can get married and work and then give him a monthly payment on Patreon. You should you should marry that girl. You should listen to her too. You should you should tip me to eat popcorn and watch anime. Gatorade H2O Actually, I think the next anime night that I'm going to do with someone, I think I'm going to do one with uh, Tempest, and I want to do it, if I can, I want to do it with Rick and Morty, because I love, I know it's not anime, but like, I, I love Rick and Morty, or Archer, I love Archer too. I don't know if you guys watch Archer, but if you haven't, you are freaking missing out. My goal is to finish... Or, my goal for now is to get a job and finish these two classes. Hey, getting a job isn't easy, especially finding a job you like. That's a good goal to have. List all the things you want in a job that would be... Because you're 17 and a half, it doesn't have to be your ideal job, but just something that makes you not want to hate going to work, and then work really hard to find what that type of job is, and then if you don't meet the requirements, work really hard to then meet those requirements. Make those your goals. And then... When you finally have that job, you're like, hell yeah, I have a freaking, I have a job I don't hate to work. That's something a lot of people can't say. <laughs> I'm dying. Hmm. Future buff, jujitsu practicing, comic making weeaboo. Hey Nicholas, do you know um Joe Rogan? He's actually tenth planet jujitsu black belt, and his channel has all sorts of really good uh, jujitsu videos. He does a podcast called the Joe Rogan Experience. Um, I bet you'd like it if you like uh, jujitsu. 
So I should have a hashtag Chad goal too. Okay, what's your Chad goal then? Because I'm actually curious to see what that would be. I've actually lost 30 pounds since January and I actually have abs for the first time ever. Good luck, Chad. It is me too. So I've never been able to see abs, but like when I take my shirt off now and I'm not flexing, there's like, I see four abs right there. And I still have a little bit of this stubborn belly fat down here, but that's from years of not taking care of myself. You guys, man, I wish I had some way of like, because all the photos I take now, I try and show as much skin as possible to like show the transformation. Um, so it's kind of, I can't like share it on social media that much, but I really want people to like see it. So I'm in a quandary. How about this? Um, I can send you my most recent, my seventh month progress. My, cause I only, start, I've only been working out for seven months. Um, but you'd have to like follow me on Twitter so I can IM you. Cause if I make it public, it, all that stuff's just going to get used against me eventually. I'm sure. Have a job you don't hate going to is heaven. Yeah, take it from Garthic. Take it from me. I've worked jobs that make me miserable. I mean, one of the reasons I had to come back from Japan was just because I was getting miserable from work and studying so much. I was, I had no free time. I was miserable. And I, and when I was existing, when I was awake, all of it was just freaking awful. I wasn't having fun. I wasn't going towards goals that I wanted to. The school was going too slow. Um, I wasn't working enough translation. I was doing like teaching English and that just killed my soul. So I'd rather just like work towards being a more whole person, you know, but that's just me. Yep. He influenced me to get into. Oh yeah. Oh, Joe Rogan. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot what we were talking about. Joe Rogan. Back streets, back. Ba oh, you said baby. That's not right. But hey, James, good to see you. Oh, come on. I work at Panera Bread and it's awesome. I've heard Panera takes care of their people really well. Yeah, see, here's the weird peach booby monster. I wonder what the hell... Why is she embarrassed? It's a pet. What do you care? Everyone likes it. To meet a girl like you were describing. Tweet it. Oh, <laughs> to meet a girl who loves me and wants to donate me money all the time. All right, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put that out there. I already made a rule I don't date fans because I have seen that gone so wrong so fast. Um, but, you know, if, if there are female fans here, there are also male fans here. So you two, sh you guys should connect and then invite me to your weddings because I just went to a wedding and I love love. So invite me. Weird. Ah. Mm -mm. There it is. Mm. More, uh, not seeds. Kernels. You also never see girls that busty in Japan. It's a damn shame. Also, another, I don't know if this is a rule, but I just don't date Japanese girls. They're way too mendoxa for me to deal with, like, 99% of the time. But, still, it would be like... It would make me feel more at home not just to see everybody with a flat chest, you know what I mean? Because at home, you, like, see normal... Pro for uh, an American, like, normal propor proportions of people. And in Japan, it's not that. So you, you kind of feel... Just the way the people, their figures are, make you feel not at home, so... I don't know, I sound creepy and pervy now. I'm not explaining myself very well. Want to date me, Chad? No. No. <laughs> Everyone's talking about getting fit, and here I am with my Kentucky Fried Chicken. You're an Australian. How do you even have Kentucky Fried Chicken? Chad, the 21st century Cupid matchmaker. I'm only the 21st century Cupid matchmaker if I actually end up matching anybody. If nobody matches, I'm the worst version of that. Oh, come on. Why am I getting crap all over my new set? 
Anime's over. Woo! Ending song. Woo! Yeah, so if you guys haven't, if you guys aren't watching this, you're missing out. Actually, watch it. It's a really good anime. Like, more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, you know, I expect, like, a 70%, like, a summertime love anime. And I, I guess for, like, all intents and purposes, it is. But it's really good. And I think you guys would like it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Chad. This was Anime Night, the night where we come together. All of us who do not have plans on a Saturday night, we watch anime together. We talk and have fun. And it's very casual. There's not a huge lot of, you know, format to this. Um, I'm very lucky to have people like you guys in my life, and I'm very thankful that you gave me the chance to be here. Um, if you guys like this, uh, it helps me tremendously if you guys actually like the stream, if you like the, the little like button. Um, Google Analytics are weird, and that just helps me out a lot. If you guys have anything after this that maybe you missed it and you have something you want to say or to know, leave it in the comments down below. I check all my comments. Um, there's, I'll admit, a lot more now than there used to be. But I do read all of them. And anyone that requires a response, I always respond to. Um, I, I'm not so high on my horse. I don't. I just leave, you know, people hanging. At least I try not to. I, I, someone might get lost in the clutter, but I don't know. Also, uh, if you guys like this, check out my other streams on Saturday. I have a podcast coming out um, for Patreons on Monday. For everybody else, it'll come a week late. Um, I also have Wednesday videos, and I do song translations on VidMe. If you guys aren't on VidMe, check out that. I do stuff that contains copyright that I can't put on YouTube, so... <coughs> We're okay. I breathed in a kernel. Um, yeah, I'm doing so much stuff on YouTube. I'm doing so many creative things, and I love doing so many creative things. It makes me so, so happy. So, um, if any of that sounds like you, please consider subscribing. All of this can be yours for the very, very low price of clicking that button, and then it's free. It's magic, I know, right? It doesn't cost anything. Um, I figure I might as well throw out one, uh, quick thing, because I never do this. Um, support me on Patreon. Uh, if you guys haven't been there, there's a link in the description. There's a link on my Twitter. It, that's, that helps a lot. The, the Patreons help cut where YouTube goes, no, Chad, we don't like you. You guys go, yes, Chad, we do like you. And that goes up. Um, as, oh, I think someone just did just now. Weekly peasant change. Um, you can also do the super chat donation. That also is a big part of my revenue now thanks to james and these guys so if you guys like this uh consider either tipping on my channel there's a little button there that says buy me a bento or on the super chat um or you can just message me and talk to me i uh, money is one thing it helps keep the lights on for the streams and whatnot but getting to know you guys is a lot more valuable to me personally and i'm not just saying that to be cheesy like i have so many friends all over the world i've never met because i've started to do this and i'm very thankful for the opportunity you guys you you give me to be, even for this small hour, to be a part of your lives. So I'm very grateful. Um, if you would like me to be a bigger part of your world, follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on there. Join the Discord chat afterwards. We could talk in person. Um, I want to get to know you. And I'm so stoked that all these people made it. All these old friends. All these new friends. Thank you, Durka, for your $2 weekly peasant change. Um, I'm going to get out of this anime now. And uh, we are going to close up with just a thank you so much, and I love you guys, and I'm going to switch this over to, I'll, I'll catch up on all the YouTube comments, but I'm going to do it while this thing's kind of switched off, so thank you guys so much, I will catch you later, and uh, I don't know, go find someone to love tonight. Bam! <laughs>
tight, hold tight, hold tight.